Now, you might have seen Anthony Head starring recently in Netflix drama The Stranger, but for millions, he's always going to be remembered for Buffy the Vampire Slayer, which is returning to our screens more than 20 years since its first release. So Anthony Head joins me now. Good, good memories, and we're getting a chance to relive them all again. Well, me too, I must admit. And just before I say anything, virtual hug. Oh, virtual hug, and I wish it was a real one. I really, oh, no. really do. One day soon, hopefully. Hopefully. Maybe. I know. I'm really <laughs> missing hugs, so. so you know. I'm missing all of that. <laughs> yeah, it's bizarre. It is a strange, strange period in our lives. It sure is. It sure is. But we can console ourselves with watching reruns of things. I've just finished Game of Thrones, so I'm right up for Buffy. <laughs> oh, Buffy's, Buffy. Buffy is still relevant. And it's, I mean, because it's, it's allegorical, it's about, you know, it's about making your way through life, especially through teenage years but um it's it's relevant for all of us and especially now how life can throw things at you and how you fight back basically exactly exactly would you think there would ever be like a, would you would all of you because i know you're all still in touch and um, be up for a, a remake or a reunion or a reboot <laughs> uh, well, they've been talking about a reboot for a while. Um, not that, I mean, I, I think I'm a, a little older than I was, um, as you could see by that. Um, I have to say, I've said it a couple of times now, Harris Yulin, who played the, the, the leader of the Watchers Committee, um, he, he used to appear, he had a beard. And strangely, I've got, I've got a little goatee. Um, <laughs> That I grew, I grew for something that I was shooting just before lockdown right. uh, back, which is also on Channel Four. Whether they finished, I don't know. But anyway, I kept it. I think it looks very dignified, and you have well, not changed. You you've not changed that much at all, and you've just got better. That's what I think. Well, thank, That's what I think you. for sure. How have you been during all this crazy time? Because of course you can't really, you can't really work as such, and um, you know it's, it's it must be quite frustrating in, in one way, but. How has it been? Well, no, I write. Mm -hmm. um, so that's been that's been uh, doing a lot of that. Um, I do voiceovers. I've been doing stuff for charity. I've been doing presentations. Yeah, just, you know, stuff. Um, and just being at home and the garden is extremely <laughs> thankful. <laughs> I'll bet. I'll bet it is. And I guess for you as well, because you're away such a lot with your job. Mm. You know, obviously, you, you have to go away and film all over the world now. It must be quite nice just to have a little bit of time just with the family, just on it's, your own. It's, it's, yeah. it's actually, I mean, it's lovely and it's, it's, it's you know, it's, it's great being here and I am, I am always extremely grateful for what we have here and I'm appreciative that so many people, you know, we're in the middle of the country overlooking a valley and it's just, you know, it's it's amazing. So uh, I'm thankful for what we have um, and I appreciate that not everybody has that and people are struggling. No, that's very true and great that you know that because it makes you realise how lucky you are and you don't take things for granted, which is, well, which is so, so important. Now, look, you, the thing about you is you can turn your hand to anything. I know you've been doing sing-alongs. We've, we've seen you doing Buffy. We've seen you doing really, you know, really very, very, very tough dramas. Um, but as well as that, you were brilliant in Little Britain as the Prime Minister <laughs> and the Thank object you. of Sebastian's Great. fantasies. Um, the, obviously, the series was of its time, um, mm. And there are certain things in there that, as we know, are no longer acceptable. And um, what mm. do you make of that? Um, well, I mean, Matt and David have made a statement about it. I, hopefully, we're always looking to evolve and learn. You know, I, I think before we respond to anything or doing anything, we should always step back and consider, is it fair, is it necessary, is it kind? And I think people will, will do things differently from now on. Yeah. Uh, you know, this whole period of history through COVID and the, and the, and the protests has made people reflect. And I'm sure, um, you know, many people will do things differently from now on. Yeah, I think you're absolutely right. I think we're, we're entering a, 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 new, a new world. And maybe that wouldn't have happened, in a sense, if, if we hadn't had this pandemic. Perhaps it is. I mean, I, I always thought it was a chance for people to come together. I, I'm still hopeful of that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm, I know. Mm, I know. Mm. <laughs> I know. It's difficult, isn't it? Because there was that sort of feeling, you know, maybe about a, a month ago. Yeah, no, absolutely. All in this it, was like, it was sort of like wartime and it was it was fascinating. The community was coming together and our appreciation of the NHS and everything. Uh, it's it's now going, society is going through another phase. It, 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 you know, life goes on, life changes, life. Who would have dreamt uh, that 
we would be in the state that we're in. But um, we, it changes us. It 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 creates us. It um, you know we evolve and. Uh, um, Let's see where we go. I know. Hopefully, hopefully, somewhere optimistic. I think you're like me. You, you know, you, you want to see the light in the darkness. That's for sure. Mm. Because this, it, I mean, that's why. That's why Buffy. Actually, you're right. It's so appropriate for these times. We can just immerse I mean, ourselves in that. It's true. So many people over the years have come up to me and said, "Thank you so much for for Buffy. Helped them through." A difficult time in their life um, and thanked me for being the father figure and at the time because I was in my 40s I was like no I was the uncle figure but now I appreciate I, I was the father <laughs> figure um, but um, you know yes it, it it had extraordinary effect I mean things like there's there was an episode which should have got an Emmy uh, I think Fox blew it somehow but it was called uh, The Body and it was it was about appreciating and understanding and dealing with grief yeah. yeah, I know you, you were talking earlier on Absolutely. about, uh, and it's it's the most extraordinary piece of television, and I've never seen anything like it. Um, Buffy's mother dies. I Sorry. remember. Ooh. No, I do, I do remember. I know that was a big spoiler, but I, I do remember that very well. And you're absolutely right. And for a series to help people, is that's all you can yes. ask for. It really is. Anthony, what a joy to talk to you. We need to see you Lovely. when all this is over. Come in, and we'll get a proper hug. Lovely. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you so much. <laughs> Thank you. Great to see you. Thank you so much. <laughs>